Okay, so in this video, uh, we're going to fill out the, dilation, the dilations page in your notebook, which is page 11. So a dilation um, is a type of transformation when your figure, whatever you have, either shrinks or enlarges. So on the paper here, you can see on the right side, or even toward the bottom, um, I drew two examples, or an example of a dilation. Notice my triangle um, enlarged, or if you look at it from the big one to the small one, my rectangle shrank, one of the two, okay? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna fill out this graph paper sticker. And if you don't have a graph paper sticker, you can always put some graph paper um, behind it, or tape some graph paper down to your page, and that'll work just fine. So on my graph paper sticker, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw in my Y and my X axis. Okay, so I'm going to start with a triangle. So I don't know where you want your triangle to be. I'm going to put mine in the first quadrant. So I'm going to put it call this we'll put these are my three vertices so my original triangle looks like this and a three letter word um, maybe let's do cat so we could do C A T so we're gonna do two dilations on this page uh, the first one we are going to dilate with a scale factor of uh, let's do two first so we're going to dilate with a scale factor of two. So if you remember from the activity or the video we did, if it has a scale factor of two, our rule goes x, y to two x comma two y. You're gonna multiply uh, your x and your y coordinate each by the scale factor. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So A is at 0, 0. Well, 0 times 2 is still 0. So A is not going to move. Um, for C, it originally is at 0, 4. So if I multiply the coordinates by 2, I'm going to be at 0, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So up here is my C prime. And then T originally is at 4, 0. So if I multiply um, both coordinates by 2, we're now going to be at 8, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here is my T prime. So if I draw in my new triangle here in purple, trying to be as neat as possible. If you have a ruler at home, probably want to use that. So my purple triangle, notice, is twice as large as my original green one because, again, my scale factor was 2. So last but not least, let's do one that shrinks. So let's also uh, do a dilation. We're going to dilate uh, with a scale factor of, this time let's do a half because a half is going to tell me that it got smaller. So my, as a rule, if my order pair starts out as x, y, it's now going to move to a half x, a half y. So again, a was at 0, 0. a is not going to move because 0 times a half is still 0. Since c was at 0, 4, well, what's half of 4? Hopefully you're going to say 2. So c double prime is going to be right here at 0, 2. And then for t, it was at 4, 0. So now it's going to be, what's half of 4? Again, 2. So now it's going to be here at 2, 0. So in this orangish color, this is my new triangle. So notice, it's again half the size of my original green triangle. Okay, so that should be it on dilations.